Hello, sports fans, sports betters, and YouTube Nation. John here with Rigget Picks. Hope everybody's having a great and happy Wednesday. Wednesday, August 8th, August 18th, 2021. 8. 8 is the month of August. But anyways, yesterday was a just terrible day. Terrible. I'm a little bit embarrassed. I'm a little bit disappointed in myself. The number one rule in sports betting is don't bet on a crappy offense. Not only did I do that once yesterday, I did it twice. Once for a pretty good sized play. Astros Moneyland populated as my, my highest chart play. And I know better than to ride with offenses that are not clicking. And the Astros offense is not clicking. They couldn't even beat up Lynch yesterday. That just not good. It's not good in Houston right now. And I know that. And I still rolled with it. Um, you know, probably put too much faith in it. I had the Reds' money line. That was my other chart pick um, over the Cubs, and they just got absolutely shut down. Um, you know, the Cubs still have a few good players left, but I, I didn't see that coming, to say the least. But that game ended 2-1. to one. I would have never guessed that either. Uh, your free YouTube play was the Astros' first five-run line. I did think they would crush yesterday. I thought they'd put up some runs, and they didn't. Um, was also on the Rackton Golden Eagles. Um, had a really good pitcher going for them. Last night, the Japan Baseball League, and they ended up getting shut out 3 to nothing. so um, their pitcher did not give up a lot of runs, but their offense didn't score. It's on the Tigers' money line. That was looking really good until the Angels hit a grand slam in the eighth inning, top of the eighth, two outs, grand slam, all the damage done with two outs in that game, and the Tigers ended up fading away. Uh, winners, I had the Indians' first five money line. That was a plus-160 winner. I had Coritiba in the Brazil Soccer League. That was a plus-108 winner. And then I had the Seattle Mariners in the first five money line, and that was a winner. Um, all was not lost, but it was still an ugly day. And we're looking to bounce back right here as we do at Ricket Picks. So today, I'm going Texas Rangers, Seattle Mariners. I'm going right back down to, to Texas there. Uh, Marco Gonzalez going for the Seattle Mariners. Um, he needs no introduction. He struggled when he came back from his injury. Um, he did do that, but his last three games, he, he's been dealing. His last three starts, he has a .83 ERA. Um, he's faced Texas twice this month already. He's won a total of 15 innings against them, six innings and nine innings, and he gave up one run in each of those. So he has 15 innings pitched against Texas, and he's given up two runs. Um, that's pretty stout and pretty legit. Um, Texas is going with Fulkenwitz. Um, Fulkenwitz on the season uh, has struggled. He's been in his own head. His last three starts, he has a 3.00 ERA. He's starting to come around. Um, one of those starts was against the Seattle Mariners. Um, he's also faced them twice. These these two pitchers, Gonzalez and Fulkenwitz, have met up. This will be the third matchup this month between these pitchers. So, you know, that's something to, to look into. Um, Fulkenwitz, um, first time around against Gonzalez. He went five innings, gave up two runs. Second time around, he went seven innings, gave up three runs. So Seattle's not hitting him as well as other teams are. Uh, first time around, Fulkenwitz went six and two-thirds against Seattle. He gave up four runs um, in that start. He was going up against Chris Flexen. So Fulkenwitz has drawn Seattle's best pitchers every single time he's faced them, and today's no exception. Um, Seattle on the season... You know, they're still fighting. They're still fighting in that wild card spot. They're four games back. You know, they're still within striking distance. Last seven games are only averaging 3.9 runs a game, uh, hitting 232 versus right-handed starters are averaging 4.2 runs a game, which is what they're averaging for the season. Texas is averaging 3.7 runs a game for the season and 3.7 runs a game versus left-handed starters and 3.7 runs a game. Um in their last seven games. So they are dead consistent. Their offense is dead consistent, not great. Um, they rely on their pitchers to keep them in the game, and that's just that. Um, I don't know that they're going – I think they're going to hang around a little bit in this game, but I think Seattle's just going to kind of inch away from them as this game progresses. Um, and I think Marco's going to have another strong outing. Um, the bullpens, Texas has a, um, is favored in the bullpen era there. Um, at home, their bullpen ERA is 3.49. Seattle's road bullpen ERA, 4.57. So the longer Marco goes, the better the chance is that the Seattle Mariners win this game. I do think they'll win the game, but um, your official Ricketts diamond paw pick for this game, I'm going Seattle Mariners, first five, 
I'm going to take them on the run line. It's minus 115. Um, yes, this pick has bit me in the past, recent past. Um, you know, sometimes they like to play that game with Texas where they're tied the whole game through and then they, they win in the end or, you know, run away. But I think today they're going to inch away from them. And I think after the fifth inning, they'll be up by one or more runs. And I think they're just going to continue to kind of separate the gap a little bit. Um, Seattle's due to hit the ball well. Fulkowitz is due for a for a, a mental cave-in. And uh, hopefully we get that. So that's what we're going to roll with. Seattle Mariners, first five run line, minus 115. If you want to take the money line for that, that tie insurance, it's at minus 160. So you're going to pay a little bit for it, but it's not a terrible idea. But I'm going to put a unit on the run line at minus 115. That's how we're going to roll your official play. If you guys have not already, hit that subscribe button, tap the bell, turn the notification on if you want the videos as soon as they drop. Give me a big old thumbs up if you appreciate true free daily sports betting advice each and every single day right here on this YouTube channel. And um, have a wonderful day. Let me know who you're on in the comment section. I don't get a lot of people that tell me what they got going on for the day. Uh, maybe nobody cares, but that's, that's cool too. Um, I understand. Um, it is time consuming, and I get that. So with all that being said, you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you very much for watching this video. And most importantly, good luck with your bets.